resources, hazard risk reduction and adaptation to climate change, and sustainable urban and rural development. And social, socioeconomic development is aligned to outcomes 7 to 12, which speak to macroeconomy, economic efficiency, and international competitiveness. And of course, youth development, which is identified as what we call a cross-cutting issue, is aligned to national outcomes 1 through 12. And this pillar, youth development, also provides a nexus between the CRP, the National Development Plan, and the Youth Interagency Network. The primary mechanism utilized by the CRP to guide coordination and the process of engagement for the delivery of services is the Social Development Commission's SDC Interagency Network. The role of the Interagency Network is to provide a common space for partner agencies to address critical issues that require intervention in communities to facilitate their transition towards renewal. The network focuses on pulling partners together and coordinating interventions that will realize maximum impact and reduce duplication. In this forum, community priority issues are discussed. Partners are able to share their program of work, which should and could bring together solutions to address specific issues, as well as identify specific interventions under the six pillars of the CRP that may be needed to close gaps in implementation and to support the prioritization of critical interventions. The Youth Interagency Network Development Program, IANYDP, builds on this resource by providing an opportunity for youth to engage directly by highlighting and addressing issues of importance to them and in coordinating and planning interventions that are youth focused. In summary, the IANYDP is a newly designed program of the Kingston Interagency Network, KSA IAN, which seeks to provide capacity building support, as you heard, in the areas of project management and proposal writing to the community development committees, CDCs, among the targeted committees, and to strengthen and motivate youth to become more involved in the community development process. Despite the constraints brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, to date, 20 youth have been trained in the first phase of this program, and there is more to be done as outlined in the project overview, which was shared earlier. I sincerely hope that all who are able to benefit from this program will fully utilize its opportunities and in turn become an inspiration to other youth who may be needing motivation and direction to chart a better future for themselves. I close by offering congratulations to the partners who contributed to the design and implementation of this program and to the youth who have taken the opportunity to participate in this phase of it. I have every expectation that it will be a resounding success. The pledge and pledge, of course, the continuing support of the PIOJ as it continues to forge a path of inspiration for our youth as we continue to work to make Jamaica the place of choice to live, work, raise families, and do business. Let me thank you, and God bless you all. I see also, of course, Sophie as a part of the team of the CRP. You know, I could go on, but I have, we have a distinguished Dr. Lincoln Edwards, and, and I look forward to hearing his presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Henry. All right, so we want to now acknowledge and invite our two of our apprentices who are currently participating in the program to give their testimonials. So today with us, we have two representatives, one from the Trenchtown community which is Devante Thompson, and we have one from the Tivoli Gardens community, Simone Simpson. So as we would have been cultured ladies before gents, so I'm going to invite Miss Simpson. She is an apprentice, current apprentice in the iron, under the iron project from the Tivoli Garden community. Welcome Miss Simpson. Good morning. Good morning. Love becomes our legacy and change our children's birthright. It does leave behind a country better than the one we were left with, a quote by Amanda Garman. My name is Simone Simpson. 
I'm a participant representing the Tivoli Gardens group. I'm a strong believer that young people must be properly engaged and actively involved in community development and be a part in the decision-making process on issues that directly affect them. This program sets a pathway for us young people to be equipped with the basic necessary skills needed to carry effective community engagement. Being a part of this program has taught me a lot. It has taught me that if us as young people don't voice our problems, we will not be heard. It also showed me that if we work together as a team, we can accomplish much greater things than what we aspire to accomplish by oneself. This program also taught me how to identify problems within the community and various steps to take in going about solving, fixing, and making them better than all they were before. This program teaches young persons like myself time management, how to be innovative and creative. And it's because of this, I extend commendation to the partners and agencies that organize this program and to, and to the persons who have worked closely with us to make this program a success. I thank you. Indeed, when you see growth and transformation, for me especially, you know, working with young persons, it, it's a personal, it's a personal thing for me. I, I feel as if I really have achieved. And you know, when, when they, you, you know where they are coming from and you see where they are and know where they are heading, it's a personal success. And you know, you, usually I have a 10 year old daughter and I will tell her, you know, that I don't want to be rich. And she said, what mommy? You know, I said, no, I, I want to be fulfilled. You know, um, and so that is how I want her to be cultured. You know, you know, not to, to, to do, for her success is money. Yeah, that is what they see on the internet. Success is money. For me, it is really fulfillment. Um, and this is what makes me, this is a part of what makes me feel fulfilled. Thank you, Ms. Simpson. All right, so now we want to hear from Mr. Thompson, Devante Thompson, he's representing the Trenchstone community. Welcome, Mr. Thompson. Distinguished guests, Dr. Lincoln Edwards, President of the NCU, Dr. Wayne N Dr. Wayne Henry, Director General of PIOJ, special invited guests. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow apprentices, good morning. Good morning. My name is Zevante Thompson, and I am the first cohort of apprentice at the Chenton CDC under the pilot project called Interagency Network IAN Program. It's been a pleasure and an honor to be a part of this pro pilot project. My experience has been both good and bad, which I am delighted. When I first enrolled into, into the program, I heard about all opportunities and additional accredited courses and qualifications that we would be able to obtain of no cost to us. This gave me an overwhelming feeling. I said to myself, there is no other such program being offered in, in my community but then came the great COVID-19 pandemic that has caused the country and the program to be on hold for two months. When I was at home, I thought the program would come, would came to an end until, until I received a phone call from my supervisor that we should report back to work for the following Monday morning. Upon my return, to, upon my return, to the Chenzone CDC, I was happy that COVID-19 didn't stop the program. I was, challenged with our, I was challenged with our portfolio to develop the Youth Council, which is the youth arm of Chenzone CDC. 
By doing so, I had to recruit 25 youths from the fire district of Trenchtown, ranging from ages 15 to 25. When recruiting, I got a chance to know the community much better. My first challenge under the, my work portfolio was host a football competition and recruit, recruit youth for the youth, young people for the youth council. I was so nervous and frustrated at the same time. On the day of the football competition, we didn't get a full turnout, but we did get because of the COVID-19, but we got a chance to recruit more youths for the youth arm, which I was delighted. Because of this shows community spirit and networking. My experience has came a long way. I had to learn administration, how to, how to seek sponsorship, and do a lot of networking with, with our community stakeholders. Another part of, of, the, of the many projects of the Chainsaw CDC is their social enterprise, which includes a restaurant and a wholesale where I was given the opportunity to showcase my talent as a chef in the restaurant. The workshops such as life skill, project management, and business management have also given me an opportunity to meet new people and gather more information for the future. The project, management, the project assignment, on the other hand, was a bit frustrating for me to complete because of the other because of the limited amount of time given, but nevertheless, we overcame it with all the motiv motivation and training received from our supervisor and facilitators. Last but not least, the Chainsaw Youth Arm and Artisan hosted its very first Youth Council and Artisan Fair. Before the fair, it was very frustrating because of the time we started to ask for sponsorship and many organizations were not responding. Nevertheless, we got the maximum amount of sponsorship needed to cover the event. In the end, I have learned, I learned a lot about my community and, and developing business management and project management. Now I want to take the time, time now I want to take the time from my fellow apprentices and myself to thank you all for giving us this opportunity and I hope the, the program will continue to benefit other youths of the inner city. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. What I heard there was pure holistic development. Yes, I heard recruitment, I heard administration, I heard even um, entrepreneurship, right? And so we know the impact that we are making. Thank you, Mr. Thompson, thank you. Okay, so now we are at our keynote speaker and the pleasure is mine to introduce our speaker.